Hi there, I'm Fawn Davis, and uh, ever since I came out with my introduction to professional model making DVD, I've had a lot of requests for how to build a vacuum forming machine. So instead of getting into like the really intensely industrial vacuum forming machines we use here at the studio, I thought I'd come up with one that was just really simple that you can make with readily available things that you can get from local stores or online. What we've got, this is just an electronics project box and we've drilled a bunch of holes in the top and we've put a weather seal around this. Uh, this will disintegrate. You might want to invest in some uh, you know, kind of heavier duty stuff um, or you could just replace this frequently. Um, and then we just duct taped it to seal it and attached it to a one horsepower vacuum. So, nothing special. Again, very easy to do. Uh, we just drilled a hole in the side and we were using the uh, duct tape as a gasket to create a good seal in there. There's a lot of vacuum, so it's not really critical that it's airtight. Um, and then for your patterns, you know, these are real easy to make. This one here is just made out of plaster. You can take plaster of Paris and you can sand it and shape it very easy. It's a very good material. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, medium density fiberboard, which is uh, very good for making uh, vacuum form patterns out of. And this, this is just pieces of styrene over the top to create some interest. Um, and this is a nightlight. We just filled the back so it doesn't collapse when the vacuum pulls down over the top of it. So what you want to do is you just put your part on there. And this is a talcum powder inside a rag with a rubber band on it. And you just kind of powder your part and that helps keep it from sticking to your plastic. So that's the vacuum side of the project. The next piece of the puzzle is the frame that holds the plastic. What I've used here is just a standard picture frame that's hinged and you remove all the glass and the cards from the inside of it. And You, can, you know, it's a good idea to save one of these cards because you can actually use it to put on your styrene to mark out the size and shape of your plastic. So, and this is just a standard polystyrene. This is a 0.02 thickness, um, <clears throat> 0.02 inches thickness. And we just stick that in there. And I've used some balsa wood here just to kind of create some strength so we don't collapse the picture frame there when we grab it with this clip. But basically, that's all it takes to hold the plastic. And then we can take this and we'll put it into just a standard toaster oven. We're going to set this on broil. And we'll want to put on some gloves for this part. You do not want to burn your hands. So these are just some nice thick leather gloves. I will say this is a good time to mention that um, you know you this is definitely not something for children and this is something you should do um, if you're familiar with all these things. Because you can burn yourself, there are some safety issues here. You should also be aware of how to use tools and things like that. So this is not recommended for everybody. It's recommended for people who are familiar with tools and just want to learn how to vacuum form. So we're just going to hold this in here underneath the heating element, making sure not to touch the heating element with the plastic. And what you're looking for is you want this to sag down about the same height as the, the pattern that you have in your vacuum former. And it could take a little while. You may want to preheat your oven. And that will uh, help heat the plastic a little faster. You can see it's drooped down just about as low as the pattern is high. That's the perfect time to pull it out. All right, there we go. Perfect pull. So there you go. And it's as easy as that. Happy vacuum forming.